family good morning you guys i'm back on the road again driving diaries that's right we are here trying to get in some uber eats and some spark today is tuesday july the 26th it's about 71 degrees outside so this uh crazy heat has finally uh died down 100 degrees for like three or four days 71 degrees now it's probably gonna warm up until upper 80s i think today somewhere lower 90s maybe so we out here trying to get this money i got two bars left on my gas tank so you know i gotta get this uber gotta get this uber money y'all already know let me show you guys look at this heat map this thing is heating up yeah so i'm gonna get try to get some of these bonus hot areas when it's red like that, that means it's a hot area. You get the bonus money if you get a delivery in that area. So we're gonna see what we can do. I'm gonna let y'all know how my day goes today. Welcome back to myself. Yeah, let's go. All right, you guys, there you go. You see it, the first order of the day. We got $14 going 3.3 miles, two orders. That should be real quick. Now there was another order that was paying more than this, but I didn't take it because it's going to take me past the time frame. It's 7.45 now, and I wanted to make sure I made it back by 8.15 so I can catch the next order. Because I've been finding that a lot of times what's been going on is that I've been missing the next hour's order. You know, because it's been taking too long to get there. So we're going to pick this order up. Let's go. All right, you guys. I got my second Walmart order of the day. It's going nine miles for twenty six dollars. It's a it's a batch order, so that means I got two orders with it. Nine miles for twenty six dollars. We on the way. Everybody driving super safe, super safe. The police is up on about eight cars up, so everybody got a little backlog. So uh, I don't know, you guys. I don't think I'm going to make. It's nine o'clock right now. I just leaving out. I got two orders to drop off, nine miles total. So this is what I was talking about in like in some previous videos. I'm not gonna probably finish this until about 920, maybe 925, because I know the way I'm going, they're always doing some construction. So more than likely, I'm gonna miss the 915 drop. I had a uh, Uber Eats that came up for Denny's, but when I got to Denny's, somebody was leaving out and say, uh, it's gonna be 20 minutes for any food because i guess it was only one person that came in this morning i had an uber eat so i had to cancel that because i had the uber eats and then i had already accepted by if i had waited the 20 minutes it would have been time to pick up the spark i would have been even even later so get this knock this out uh nine o'clock i started at seven o'clock so i'll be at forty dollars for the day so even with it going dragging a little bit i'm still averaging twenty dollars an hour seven o'clock i started at seven it's nine now after this uh, it'll be uh, $40 for the day. So we're going to keep it banging. Y'all already know. It, it's tried to rain, but it stopped. But we're going to keep it rocking. I'm going to focus on the road. We got five volt out here on the scene with a gangster lean. i get back with y'all. All right, you guys. We got that one knocked out the box. As you can see, if you can see it right there, we got a $26 eight cent order and then a $14 order. So that's forty dollars already done. It's a uh, nine thirty-nine, and basically I'm, I'm losing uh, like thirty minutes of time because of the traffic jam. The traffic backup for this construction area is even worse than it was last week. So I done lost a half an hour, um, you know, fooling around with this. So I done missed the nine fifteen order, and I'll be lucky if I don't miss. Well, I, I'm still I'm available, so I can catch the ten fifteen. But I missed the 915. So if you had to take that down, then now it's forty dollars average by three hours of being out there. But it depends on how you want to count it. You get counted as time out, or you get to count it as actual delivery time. If you count it as actual delivery time, it's still twenty dollars an hour. But if you count it as time out, is it's it goes below twenty because of the construction. So the traffic looks like it's trying to move now. This construction is messing me up. Look like it's going to rain. I'm probably going to do another hour and a half out here. I haven't gotten an Uber yet other than that sorry Denny. So I'm going to get back with y'all. I usually don't like to make the videos too long. I'm going to let you know what happened. Either I'm going to come back with another order. I'm going to come back. I'm going to be shutting it down for the morning. 
All right, you guys. All right, you guys. Yes, I just picked up a Uber Eats order. The Uber Eats order was for $11. So that pushes me to about $53 for the day. I'm gonna go home, Ashley, right now, get me something to eat, take a little chill. Uh, Cause it's getting slow until lunchtime. Then I'm gonna come back out during lunchtime if it's not pouring down raining. But you gotta take a look at this. Make sure you guys keep track of all your gas. I use a, 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 um, a app called Stride to keep track of all my gas miles. As you can see, this year right there alone, I've got five thousand three hundred thirty-one dollars worth of write-off as far as gas mileage. So make sure you guys definitely keep track of your gas. And did you know that if you're if you eat if you eat uh, while you're on um, while you're working if you eat while you're working that's a write-off also so make sure you guys definitely keep track of all that if you eat that's considered uh, 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 food while you're working so you can write that out too so that's how you offset be an entrepreneur learn how to do your write-off learn how to do your taxes but for now I'm gonna head on out on this video go home get me something to eat and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.